Hello, my name is Alea and welcome back to my mom's channel, Sharonda Simple Eats, and today we will be making classic hummus. Your first ingredient you will need is one fourth cup of water, two cloves, whole cloves of garlic, um, one tablespoon of, I mean actually two tablespoons of fresh squeezed lemon, one teaspoon of black pepper and um, salt each, one half tablespoon of pepper, um, pepper flakes, red pepper flakes, and then you will also need cumin and a whole can of chickpeas. Okay, so why are you using red peppers today? You need red peppers to add a kick of heat. Okay, you like the little spice? Yeah, and then you will also need extra virgin olive oil. Okay. Yeah, and that is just... So I want you guys to know that this this recipe was inspired by Tasty, and this is our first time trying out this recipe. So our star dish is going to be chickpeas, and you need some type of blender or food processor. So first you want to put in your chickpeas, and put a whole can. One whole can? Yes. Okay. And then you need a one fourth cup of water, or you can use tahini, whatever one you prefer. We don't have any tahini, so we'll, so put we'll this just in for water. Right? Yeah. Then you need one half table teaspoon, actually, of pepper flakes, however much you want. It just kicks up the heat a little bit. You also need two cloves of garlic, fresh garlic, and you need. You will also need two tablespoons of fresh squeezed lemon juice. And then you need you will need one teaspoon of cumin. Okay, so this is not all the way on here, so let's take this off. Oh yeah, that's burning off. Huh? Yeah. So you would need a tablespoon, a teaspoon of cumin. Okay. Then you will also need one teaspoon of pepper and salt black each. Pepper. Okay. So a teaspoon of black pepper and a teaspoon of salt. Okay, that should be good. You can take the lid off if you like. Okay. My my chef, my little, little chef. You will also need one half teaspoon of salt. One half or? One half. Okay. One half or just like a half? A half. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. And that will be all you need for right now. So you want to put your lid on. that and these ingredients yeah make sure you go on tasty to look at all these recipes and as you're blending as you're blending you will want to put in two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil you will not want to put it all at once right now so, so just you when you're slowly pour, slowly pour it when you're when you are um when you're mixing up your ingredients and your food processor or your so what you need to do now is turn on your blender or your fruits processor, okay? And then you can add your um, olive oil, two tablespoons. That wasn't a full tablespoon. It wasn't? No. Okay. Fold it all the way up. So I fold all the way up this all time. Up to the top and that equals a full tablespoon. Okay. So there we are, and I'm going to turn it up a little more so we can get it going. Okay, turn it. mix it. So now you have to turn a power press clip it up to high. If 
if your um, hummus is not in the right consistency and it's a little chunky and you want it to get smoother, just want to add a little bit more water, no more tahini because it's very strong. So let's turn this back on and add a little more water. You want to add one fourth cup of water again and turn that up to hot. This is what it should look like. This is a great consistency for it to be. So we're going to plate this now, and here's what it looks like. And we can just scoop this out. So that's what, it smells really good. I like the way it smells. It smells like store-bought hummus, but it smells better. Well, this is definitely healthier. So than you would, yeah, you. It would be so good. You would never want to go back to the store to buy any store bought hummus ever again. You will just always want to make this at home. So that's just all I can get out right now. So play here, and then if you want to, your choice, you can plate it with some more olive oil, and you can add some more pepper plate pepper flakes if you want okay that was probably a little too much but it still looks good mm -hmm. we're going to do a taste tester to try this hummus it looks really good it does and it smells delicious it's spicy but it's good it's super good here try it mommy come on my pleasure it tastes like So creamy and velvety and has a little kick to it. Just, it's not too spicy. It's just it's just a enough. Layer. Good job. I could just eat that by itself. Yeah. I don't eat anything with it. It would be really good with carrots. So. Yeah, but I can eat that by itself. Yeah. So it's good. really healthy too. More healthy than store bought because you know what your ingredients were and you know what you put exactly in it. You can share this with your friends and family, and I'm guaranteed that they will love it. Yay! Good job, Lane. All right, guys. See you soon. Thank you.